Welcome back. I guess I've been on a little bit of a hiatus. Um, so where shall we begin? Let's begin with what I've done so far. Let's kind of see how many mistakes I made. Go to inspect. So I've, I've added a few things, a few features to the application. Now it has like a little bit of a GUI going on here. All bootstrap, make it really simple. So I have um, different profiles here that you can load. All right, these actually work. And we can add new profiles using the modal. Okay, very simple, straightforward. Um, so let's say um, video, why not? Uh, profile, I was having a hard time closing out the modal with JavaScript. So I just decided to keep it open until you manually close it. So, it, so you can just keep adding new profiles. Um, I don't know what, uh, why I was having issues with that script, but um, uh, I decided not to like bang my head against it. I'm gonna load the, the, the um, list of symbols. This one right here. All right, so it saves it right here as a, as a CSV file into the um, um, local storage. Now that we have this CSV file, um, there is a function that we can use that will help us to search through the CSV file to bring up um, uh, symbols. So we're typing. So it shows us all the symbols that begin with A. So it doesn't do, what I should have been doing is, um, I forgot the term for it, but it's, it's pretty much checking if a substring exists. And that's not what I want to be doing. I should be seeing if it starts with a substring. So that way I can get more relevant searches. MD. And it'll show us AMD. And that's all from this uh, CSV file. So now if we click on AMD. All right. So it, what it does is it reaches out to the Yahoo um, Finance API. And then it gets um, some details. And we only pluck out a few relevant fields that are going to be related to dividends. So this one right here, you can see this doesn't have any dividends. So, um, but anyway, we can see that we can pluck out some details and right here, we can add a symbol to a current profile and see that we have the profile set as dividends. But let's say it's a video. You see, that's the thing. This is the, the biggest mistake I've made is that it's very difficult to programming and react program reactivity into this without right, making sure we catch every single case and then reload the page. Um, so that's that's been an issue. I can do it right here again. I see now, now it pops up, but it doesn't like React. So maybe I should have been using React to do this project. I didn't think it would be this complex. And I might just scrap the whole thing and just use React because a lot of the things are, are pretty much functions. Could probably port it over in like uh, in a couple hours. But so yeah, we can go ahead now and add that. And see, it doesn't react. But if we, if we go ahead and do this now. So th there are state changes being tracked, but we just can't reload the, uh, the um, this, this is effectively like a template string. Um, uh, or uh, string interpolation um, right here. Um, so it's, it's a bit difficult to make it react. So we've got profiles down. We got a way to add and st uh, store stocks to the profiles. So let's see. And you're seeing everything happening in the key value pairs and local storage so right here. here all right so it's caching it so our, we don't want to overburden the api because right now i'm using the free version that has a limited amount of requests per day so we're, we're pretty much caching the request so that whenever it needs to go out again and get these values again um, instead of storing all we'll pretty much store all the values for the day that it was um cached and just reduce the um the, the, you know the amount of times it reaches out um, to the API yeah that's how far I made it um, the code is a mess code I've completely failed so one of the things I really wanted to do was to make it very functional so everything should be a function and my code is littered with uh, side effects all over and I've and I don't have any code spreading going on so I just have like 
I don't know, dozens of functions just sitting around. So I gotta make sure. I, I think I'm gonna just redo the entire project in uh, in React because I think this is not scaling well, <laughs> and I'm not getting all the features I want without having to go in and manually, you know, um, update the components and stuff that I'm building. So I think the next step will be taking this HTML and JavaScript and turning it into a React project. Then that way I can split the code up, you know, and um, it's a lot less jumping around this huge uh, text file. Um, and I can have the parts of the code, um, you know, easily reusable and, you know, all, all, the, all the good stuff that comes with React. So that's <laughs> the next part. I'll see you guys next week with an update.